Hello, my most amazing artists. Today, we are going to begin a really fun project using glue, black paper, and oil pastels. They're really fun to use. They have really bright colors that are beautiful. And we're going to be drawing pumpkins because it's October and there's lots of pumpkins around. So, this is what we're going to be doing. There we go. All right, so we're going to be creating a pumpkin with oil pastels. In just a minute, I'm going to show you how we are going to begin. Okay, so now it is time to draw our pumpkin. You may think it's kind of hard to draw a pumpkin, but I'm going to show you a very easy way to draw a pumpkin. We want to draw it big to cover up this big square sheet of paper. So everyone show me your hands. Big! Big pumpkins. Okay, so in order to start, we're going to draw one straight vertical line, which means up and down, right in the middle of our paper. Just a straight line. Don't touch the top of the paper and don't touch the bottom of the paper, but my line goes from here to here. So almost all the way to the top, almost all the way to the bottom. Now here's where the pumpkin gets easy. Everyone can draw the letter C. So what I want you to do is draw a letter C in the air so it goes like this. It's curved. C for curved. So you're going to take your pencil in the top of that line. You're going to draw a C all the way to the bottom. Then you're going to go to the other side and draw a backward C. Okay. Then I'm going to start over here overlapping a little bit. And I'm going to draw another regular C. I'm going to start over here overlapping a little bit and draw another backward C. Now right now that looks like a tall skinny pumpkin. So if I want to make it more of a fatter pumpkin, I can do another layer. So here's another C. And here's another backward C. And now I have a beautiful, big, fat, juicy pumpkin right there. All right, now, our pumpkin doesn't have a stem. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kinda draw a rectangle. Goes up, across, and down. And I don't have to draw the bottom of the rectangle because it just disappears down into the pumpkin. All right, the next step is to add some glue. So you have to be careful with this step because you don't want to add too much glue. So you are going to open the cap. When we get ready to get finished, you need to be sure you close the cap. Give your bottle a little squeeze. I don't know if you heard that, but my glue bottle took a breath. If your glue bottle is not breathing, meaning air is not coming out of the top of it, you need to let me know and that way I can fix it for you, okay? So now all you're going to do is shake some glue down to the bottom. You have to be really, really careful because we don't want to smudge our glue and we don't want to put too much glue. Alright, so now I'm just going to trace my lines with glue. This is going to be really, really, really cool next week when you come in. So I'm lifting up my glue bottle. So I do one line and then I lift up my glue bottle. There we go. Okay, I'm going to finish this and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm all finished tracing my pencil lines with glue. Now, as you can see, you can see these glue lines. They're not dripping all over the place because I did not use too much glue. I can't pick this up and turn it around and show you because my glue is wet and it will drip all over the place. So we don't want a drippy pumpkin. We want our pumpkin to look like this. So what we're gonna do now, we are gonna take this to the drying rack very carefully. You need to hold it like this, both hands. Don't hold it like that. I can't even do it very long or else it'll drip. Hold it like this and bring it to me and I will help you put it on the drying rack. Then we have to let it dry. But you might ask, what are we gonna do the rest of class? So just a minute, let me put this over here. We're gonna get another little black sheet of paper and we are gonna practice color, baby, color because next week when you come in, we will be using these beautiful oil pastels. We'll be using red, orange, and yellow, and white. 
on our pumpkin. And then we will be using dark blue, light blue, purple, and white on our background. So I want you to practice using oil pastels because oil pastels are a little bit messy, but they're so beautiful and you can mix them and blend them. And so we're gonna practice that. Remember, color baby, color is an element of art. So this is one of the things that helps make our art so beautiful and unique and everybody will color a little bit different. But what I want you to do is take your colors, just pick one, you have to press down. You can see it's kind of showing up on my black paper. And then pick another color and kind of mix it. So now I'm kind of mixing my orange in with the red a little bit. I'm still leaving some red. Now I'm going to pick some yellow. Notice I'm not drawing anything. That's okay. You don't have to draw anything right now. You can just kind of practice mixing your colors. So I'm going to mix my yellow. Then I'm going to mix a little bit of white, so I have to press down and use my muscles. You can't see that. Use my muscles. All right. When I color. And I might want to see what this white looks like mixed with the red. So let me get this red. Oh! It makes pink! Who would have thought white and red makes pink? Now it's still pretty red, so what if I added some more white? Oh yeah, that's a good looking pink right there. All right, now I might wanna try my background colors. You guys can see. See how I've mixed the colors? There's red and orange, and right here they're mixed. And then there's orange and yellow, and right there they're mixed. And yellow and white, and they're mixed. So have fun kind of mixing those colors to see what they look like. And then when you get ready to do your pumpkin next week, you'll have a good idea of how to mix the colors. All right, so now my background of my pumpkin is going to be blue. The background is the space around the pumpkin. Okay, let me get my pumpkin back over here so you can see. The background is going to be this space around the pumpkin. And that space is going to be what colors? Oh, it's right there. I'm holding it. Blue. Oh, look how pretty that blue is up against that yellow and orange. That is beautiful. So I've got some dark blue. You might want to mix it with the light blue and see what that looks like. I think oil pastels look so good when they're mixed. Down here, you may want to practice mixing purple into your blue and see what that looks like. Oh, that's so pretty. And the purple is very pretty on its own as well. Okay, so as you can see, I did not really make an art project. I just am coloring, just practicing. All right, now if you want to try to draw a pumpkin and color it in, that's fine, but I mainly want to see you mixing these colors using your muscles to press down very hard and color baby color all right let's get to it <laughs> 